Hello my dear students, welcome back in ASA Academy with Step Classes and today we are going to talk about the file handling. In the last video I will just discuss about how to do the modify, how to do the update operations with the binary file. And I already told you that there is some problem with the binary file updation. So that's I will discuss ki how we will resolve that problem. Uh, after the deleting records first we will understand what do mean by the deleting records and how we will do the deleting records so today we are going to learn about how to delete the record and uh, we will also learn about the os module and their function okay so first we are going to understand what is the means of the deletion and then further i will tell you ki how you will do the updation with the binary file without getting any problem because we face the problem when we are updating the binary records binary file records okay so what do mean by the deleting deleting means we want to remove a record from a file remove the records from a file means sometimes we want to remove one record or sometimes we want to remove the many records so in any case we want to remove it from the file something some records are there suppose there are these are the records inside the file this is the record number one two three four this is the number or you can say these are the id of the record so i want to remove record two so it means i want a file which having only record one having record three and record four but this file does not contain record two तो हमें रिकॉर्ड्स को डिलीट करने हैं और कैसे करने हैं इसके बारे में भी हम जानते हैं इसके लिए आपको करना क्या होगा फर्स्ट यू हैव टू ओपन एन ओल्ड फाइल एंड क्रिएट अ न्यू टेम्पोरी फाइल ठीक है रिकॉर्ड्स को डिलीट करने के लिए आपको करना है कि आपके पास दो फाइल हैंडल होंगे एक फाइल हैंडल जो हमारा ओल्ड फाइल होगा जो हमारा एक्चुअल फाइल होगा उसके साथ को रिलेट करेगा और एक हम टेम्प्रोरी फाइल बनाएंगे एक हम टेम्प्रोरी फाइल बनाएंगे and input the key value means key value means the value through which you want to search if i want to delete a record definitely there is a some criteria so on the basis of criteria only we are going to delete the record you can't delete any record without any criteria either you say this is the first record this is the last record this is the second record or like this or this record is having this id or this record is having this name and this address and this mobile number etc 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 you can have you have to give anything to sabse pehle aapko ek key value decide karna padega jiske base pe aap record ko delete karenge now what you have to do you have to read acha one thing you have to understand that ki the old file must be open for the read purpose this file must be open for the read purpose and temporary file must be open for the write purpose so now what you you have to do you have to read a record from a file and after reading a one record from a file from a old file or your master file or your source file now you have to check ki is this record satisfied that that criteria is this record valid verify with that and match with that key value if it is then it's okay and if it is not agar ye match kar jata hai to kuch nahi karna hai aapko agar match nahi karta hai to is record ko is temporary file ke andar write kar dena hai फिर आप क्या करोगे नेक्स्ट रिकॉर्ड को रीड करोगे फिर उसको चेक करोगे कि क्राइटेरिया से मैच करता है अगर मैच कर जाता है तो डू नथिंग फिर आप अगले रिकॉर्ड को रीड करोगे और चेक करोगे क्राइटेरिया से मैच नहीं करता है तो इसको यहां पर राइट कर देना है तो नाउ इट्स हैविंग टू रिकॉर्ड लाइक दिस वे एंड इस तरह से यू हैव टू रीड दिस फाइल एंड मैच विद द क्राइटेरिया माइट बी पॉसिबल की देर इज अन रिकॉर्ड इज हैविंग दैट की बट देर इज माइट बी पॉसिबल देर इज मोर देन वन रिकॉर्ड हैविंग डुप्लीकेट की समटाइम इट्स हैपन so you have to delete so how you will do you have to do in this process and this process is going to repeat this process is going to repeat okay and after that means after successful reading of each and every records from this source file old file jab aap iske sare record pad lete ho to uske baad aapko kya karna hai you have to close this both file you have to close it you have to close it okay so now the both files are closed after closing of the both file you have to remove this file you have to remove this file you have to delete this file permanently and you have to rename this file after removing you have to rename this file with the old file name rename this file with the old file name okay and finally you find ki what happened the old file name the newly created old file name does not contain those records which you want to delete 
तो ये समझ में आ गया कि आपको यहां से रीड करना है कैटेडिया को मैच करना है कैटेडिया मैच नहीं करता है तो टेम्पोरी फाइल में रिकॉर्ड को राइट कर देना है कैटेडिया मैच कर देता है तो आपको कुछ नहीं करना है इग्नोर कर देना है फिर अगले रिकॉर्ड को रीड करना है और सेम प्रोसेस वहां भी रिपीट करनी है और जब ये सारा रिकॉर्ड आपने रीड कर लिया तो दोनों ही फाइल को क्लोज करके इस वाले फाइल को परमानेंटली डिलीट कर देना है स्टोरेज पे और जो टेम्पोरी फाइल आपने बनाया था उसको इसी नाम से रिनेम कर देना है इसके नाम को चेंज कर देना तो एट लास्ट आप क्या देखोगे क्योंकि इसका नाम चेंज हो गया है तो क्योंकि ये सारा काम इंटरनली हो रहा होता है तो देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड कि व्हाई दिस रिकॉर्ड इज डिलीटेड फ्रॉम योर फाइल ओके सो नाउ मूव ऑन दिस कि अब रिमूव और रिनेम करने के लिए हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा इन योर पाइथन देयर इज अ ओएस पैकेज एंड दिस स्टैंड्स फॉर द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम तो इफ यू वांट टू परफॉर्म ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम कमांड्स मींस किसी भी फाइल को डिलीट करना रिनेम करना नॉर्मली दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम तो अगर आप ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम के कमांड्स को एक्सक्यूट करना चाहते हो यू वांट टू एक्सक्यूट सच ए कमांड्स फॉर दैट पर्पस वी नीड टू यूज द ओएस मोटो सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू राइट डाउन द स्टेटमेंट इन पोर्ट ओएस अच्छा दिस ओएस मॉड्यूल इज हैविंग द सीएलएस कमांड आल्सो मेक डायरेक्टरी आल्सो क्रिएट डायरेक्टरी चेंज डायरेक्टरी तो देयर आर सो मेनी कमांड्स आर देयर आउट ऑफ दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बिकॉज़ वी वांट टू डिलीट एंड फॉर दैट वी रिक्वायर्ड ओनली टू कमांड्स वन इज कॉल्ड रिनेम एंड अनदर इज कॉल्ड रिमूव सो व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ द रिनेम कमांड दिस मेथड रिक्वायर टू आर्गुमेंट्स एंड द करंट फाइल नेम कैन बी चेंज विद द न्यू फाइल नेम सो इट्स गोइंग टू चेंज द करंट फाइल नेम विद द न्यू फाइल नेम मींस यू वांट टू चेंज द नेम ऑफ द फाइल यू हैव टू कॉल द रिनेम फंक्शन देयर इज अ वन मोर फंक्शन एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड रिमूव सो इफ यू वांट टू रिमूव अ परमानेंट फाइल परमानेंटली मींस यू वांट टू डिलीट अ फाइल परमानेंटली देन यू हैव टू कॉल द रिमूव मॉड्यूल एंड लुक remove function os dot rename old file name new file name os dot remove that file name just for you want to delete okay so now you understands how you can do the rename and remove with the help of the os module now it is time to perform the delete operation so let's before going to do the delete operations i am going to open the my idly and my idly is started here so in this idly i'll just tell you ki i have created this file this is the employee run file means in their run file i have created the some records because this is the right records program okay i have already written some records and now i am going to show you the read records now i am opening the employee file again employee run file i have opened for the read purpose and i put the this read command means load command in a try except so now i am going to run this so you run this program and you will find this ki there are this six six or seven records there are six records are available in my file so no problem i am having the records in this file now now i want to delete a record now i want to delete a record so how we will do the delete operations so the delete operations what first i have to import the pickle module then import the os module and then i have just created a variable that is called flag variable and its value is false error okay form is false now i have opened the temporary employee file in a right binary mode okay and then i am opening the employee run file in which we have to work from there we have to delete the record okay and this file is the read binary plus it is not necessary ki we give the plus sign here you can open the file in a read binary also now i am asking the employee id because on the basis of employee id only i am going to search the record so that's why i am asking the employee id and enter the data yeah and this is this is my key this is my key value now i have written the try block and i am writing the while true and then i am searching then i am searching no need to find out the position then i am start reading of the file and this whole commands are written in the try catch block so you don't forget to put it in try <laughs> try accept otherwise you will get an runtime error 
So now I have opened the file. File is already open. I am reading the one record. So one record is read and loaded in this. And now I am checking that if the EID of the record is matched with the employee ID which I entered here, then I have to dump it. Dump it means I have to write it. So where I want to write and what we want to write, we want to write the record which you read from this employee file. And where you want to write, I want to write in a temp employee. So what is the object? file handle file handle name is temp emp so that's why i'm written here temp emp and else else found if record eid is match does not match look at this what i have written not equal to if it is does not match then you will go and write this record to the temporary file Otherwise, put a message found equal to true and if found is equal to true, I already told you we don't have to do anything. If you want to write, you can write pass here also. Okay, after the true statement. Now the accept UF error. So this is why exception handy command here. So I'm going to check the uh, is my file is reached at the end of the file due to this command. So if it is, then what happened? If exception happen in your program, then it's going to check a found means the value of found is true. Then I'm this is flash here record deleted successfully and at last what I'm doing I'm closing the temporary file I'm closing the my employee file okay both file are get closed and then I'm going to remove the employee run file and after that what I'm doing I'm changing the name of temporary employee with the employee run and at last uh, else if the record is not found then I'll show the record not found message so the same program I'm going to show on the python so look at this i have opened my python and this is the my delete record program so look the same program i have written here might be possible there as one and two lines are changed but it's not looks like this so look at this i have import the pickle import the ways i have taken the found is equal to false and now this temporary file is open in the right mode and this is open in the read binary mode and now it's asked you to employ id to delete so i am going to now look the record is written here these all are the unwanted statements either you can remove it it's a return for the some checking purpose okay so now you look at this i'm reading the records from the file and now i'm matching it if this is matched with the input does not match with the employee id if it is not equal to employee id then what i'm doing i'm writing the same record in a temporary file and if it is match then what i'm doing i'm doing nothing i'm, I'm doing nothing here i'm simply writing here pass i'm simply writing here pass okay and okay so i'm simply writing here pass so this way we can write here pass and i think there is some problem and uh, okay so uh leave it i don't i don't want to write the passing leave it. i'm just putting it in proper way okay so record is here and now i'm checking the exception here okay, is there any exception because if the, there is a if you are reading the record and you are reached at the end of the file then you will get an exception here and if it is end of file exception so the message is there record deleted because i have checking the found here also okay, if found is just similar to the if found equal to true it is similar to the if found equal to true. So in this way, you can search it and now it will show the message record deleted and then it's close the temporary file, then it's close the main file, source file, and then it's going to delete, remove the employee run and it's then after it's going to change the temp run to the employee run file. Okay, so in this way, we can delete it and at last it will show record not found. So now I'm saving this program And I'm going to run this program. So look at this, what I'm writing. I'm writing here 198. And this record is not available. So what message I'm getting, record not found. I'm getting a message record not found. And now again I'm running. And this time I'm going to delete the record number 101. So it's a swing and error message. And what is this? This is the record deleted successfully, as well as swing the message. Ran out output during handling exception. Another exception occurred. 
so I have to check the another exceptions also so okay no problem you know if I ran out of input and uh, where is the problem I have to check it while I'm writing this try while and uh, I think there is a something so that but record is deleted but the record is deleted you can see this I'll show you record is deleted here okay so this is the, not the problem recorded deleted and uh, except uh, okay it's a uh, it's a closing and removing and something else so it's working fine no problem so again I'm going to run this module no I'm going to not run this module I'm going to read the record so that I'm able to show you okay, if the record is deleted or not so look at this I have given one zero one what I want to delete record deleted and I'm written here one zero one but it's not deleted from my file still it is available here it's just showing here so there is just some technical problem you know, which I have to solve so look at this where is the problem I'm going to write this try and accept block with I'm going to write this whole block here I'm going to put it here I'm going to put it here try and then I'm putting this like this way okay and if record is this and I'm putting this and okay and this I'm going to write here except while true so there is exception after the exception 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 so 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 it's I think written fine it's a walking it should have to work but why it's not working I have to check wait but first I'm going to run it I think there is any technical problem no problem it's not a big issue it's a it's it will delete it will delete the record don't worry so what I have written here employ ID int enter ID to delete and while true now it's record and accept here and if found equal to true then okay and then I have to break the program anyhow after this exception I have to break the loop okay so run this code again check it expected error so this is the exception okay okay I have to run this program again and check it yeah it's working so 101 and close text no argument and one is given so where is the problem I think I have written something oh I have given this mistake and there is a problem with this so that's why it's not running the whole program so now I'm writing 101 and records deleted successfully so I'm going to read the program that is the silly mistake made by me it's I was written the something there so look 101 is deleted successfully so now I'm going to run this program again and this time I'm going to delete a record in between 105 I'm writing and again it's showing that the record deleted successfully so again I'm going to read the record same record I'm going to read and look at this it's a deleted successfully again I have want to delete the last record this time I want to delete the last record so I have sold uh, uh, shown you okay, how can delete the first second and last every records are unable to delete so this way we can delete the records okay so every record is deleted successfully so this way you can delete the record and now if you want to modify the same concept if we applied on the modify record then we are able to modify without error means what concept I am telling you you have to what you have to do you first open the both two files temporary file and original file now read the records from the original file check it is you want to make any change in this record if it's saying yes 
then it's okay. If it's saying yes, then what you have to do, you just input the all details and now write the new data in a temporary file. And if it is not matched, then write this actual data in a temporary file. Okay, and at last close the both file, delete the original file and rename the temporary file to the original file. So this way you can delete the records. Okay. So in the next video, I'm going to tell you about how to make a project with the help of the binary file concept. Okay. And as well as we are going to discuss about the CSV file also. So I hope you understand this video. So if you like the video, share the video. Or if you have not subscribed my channel, subscribe my channel. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.